What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled 2 in 1 review on the AEW Unrivaled Series 15 Ethan Page and the Devil MJF figures. These are the two most exciting in the set for me personally. I've been waiting on an Ethan Page for what feels like eons now. And then the Devil MJF I'm very intrigued with just because it's a very unique look. It's a very different figure. We've had so many different MJFs and now we have this different iteration here and I'm excited for it. I like unique sculpts and characters like this, so it should be fun to unbox. But we do have these two here, guys. If you want to pick these figures up, you can do so over at Ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code md toys save yourselves 10 percent over there but we have ethan page we have mjf it should be a good one let's buckle the hell up dive into it and see what these figures are all about we do have all ego himself right here we have two different head sculpts we have a leather jacket that is rubber which i don't really like but we'll get into that actually both of these guys i mean he has articulated arms so it's completely different but here's ethan page he's looking pretty good there in the gear got the gold it's the standard AEW and rival packaging as always nice handsome man right there this will be i mean he did get two figures it's this regular normal version, and then we do have the Chase variant version in the black and gold. But unfortunately, this will be his last mainline AEW figure outside of the Chase, like we just stated. So we'll have to see the WWE Elite. I think they should make him. He has a fair enough reach, I think, that an Elite of him could come down the line. You know, maybe a year from now, maybe at next year's San Diego Comic Con, we'll be seeing one or something. But we do have the Devil MJF here, which looks pretty good. I'm excited for it. I've heard some iffy things about this figure, but we will, of course, get into it. Got some cool accessories going on. He looks like the damn guy who, you know, was exposing magic and reviled enemies. Tonight, he'll use them to perform. I'm pretty sure that same guy exposed wrestling one time, did a whole episode on it. She was a stunt granny. Now, here's the secret. She's a stunt granny. We have the devil MJF over there, and then on the back, we have a nice shot of the devil. Got the signature, got the rest of the figures in the wave. But outside of that, man, that is our packaging for these two Unrivaled 15 figures. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack both figures out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if these figures are indeed worth a damn. So here's All Ego Ethan Page and the Devil MJF out of the packaging going around. And I'm liking these figures so far. I don't think they're as bad as people are letting on. We're going to dive into all the details, of course. Get into all of the details that you get with these two action figures. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I've had fun posing them around. I don't think they're perfect figures by any stretch. But we are going to address all those issues in this video. And of course, dive into it, man. But what we're going to do is run through All Ego Ethan Page's figure first. And then we'll dive into the Devil and MJF. So let's buckle the hell up and take a closer look at All Ego's accessories. So getting into Ethan Page's accessories, we do get the rubber jacket, we get two interchangeable head sculpts, and we have a couple interchangeable hands. Now if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you guys know I despise the rubber accessories. I just think that in 2024, these need to be a thing of the past. The only time you need rubber accessories such as this would be a duster, an entrance duster where the arms aren't covered. Because he's never going to be able to articulate his arms with this jacket. It's a pain getting on, it puts stress on the figure, and I'm pretty sure this still stains the figure. He did have those little, you know, those clear plastic pieces on his arms to protect himself from from that so there is that but on the back you do have the all ego you have the red up top nice logos going on you have the patches or the logos on there which looks pretty cool and it's a nice jacket it's just that it is damn rubber so i just want to throw it the hell out in the yard and then we have our interchangeable head sculpts and this head sculpt doesn't look terrible i am getting a bit of bleeding here i think i'm going to i'm probably going to acetone the beard off and repaint it or something i think that would make it look better but it does the likeness isn't bad i think it definitely resembles ethan i just think that it could be better but we do have this straight face here. I, I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough for a first head sculpt. I like it. You know, we'll have to see what Mattel can do with it. But then we have the yelling head sculpt, which I think probably captures his likeness a little bit better. He's kind of yelling right there. Kind of resembles Wardlow a little bit from, from AEW and Jazzwares. But, you know, when you're when you're yelling, you kind of, you know, you mimic everything there. But these look, they're fairly decent. I like them okay. I think they get the job done for the most part. I don't hate them in any way. And they look better than the images that I did see before these figures were officially released. Now, in terms of interchangeable hands, we do get two grappling hands here that I guess could hold a microphone or a weapon wielding hand as well. And then for interchangeable hands, we do get one interchangeable pointing finger on the right side to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up, of course. But it does have like a slight bend in the finger here. Nice sculpting going on there, but you, this is the only interchangeable hand you get with the figure, but it's not like we haven't had many figures in this skin tone that you could probably sacrifice other hands to interchange if you want to do so for your Ethan Page. So getting into the head sculpt, we already talked about it a little bit. I think it's fair enough likeness here. I don't despise it. I think the guy's a little bit more handsome than this. I think he they made his 
chin a bit too narrow probably, but going down to the torso, I like this torso choice. This is before he probably cut up a little bit more, but I think it's fair enough here. I think, you know, it's looking good. It's pretty realistic for the most part, you know, at least for the time frame of this figure. It says 2021. I think that was before he went on, you know, his big cut there, but it looks good. I think it's fair enough. He's got the black wrist tape in there. He does have the black and white trunks. You do have some nice logos going across the front and on the back, you do have all ego, which looks pretty good. Pretty plain Jane gear. I do like the white knee pads that we have going on right here, but it does have the black outlines. And then we do have this boot mold here, which does look to be new. I don't know if it's new, but it definitely looks new. Like right here, the laces look a lot tighter. They're like the height of MJF boots, but they're a different sculpt, I'm pretty sure. You see how the tongue's not really sticking out? This looks to be a new boot mold. But the figure does feel good in hand. You get a pretty standard kick forward right here. You know, it's an AEW figure, so the ab crunch is pretty damn good, I'd say. He does have full rotation here. You get the bicep swivel. You get the double jointed arms, which is good. Can look all the way down and all the way up because of the ball hinge, which is nice. He can do the splits. He can do the upper thigh cut. You have the double jointed knee. You have boot rotation, and you have a nice ankle rocker right there, and the boots or feet move down and up. But I think this is a serviceable Ethan Page figure, you know, for the only Ethan Page we're going to get outside of the chase, which we mentioned a couple times now in the video. I think this will be a serviceable Ethan Page for your collection. Now, from the references I have seen, this looks to be a pretty good height comparison, I'd say, between him and Dan Housen. I don't think he towers over either of these. They look pretty good together. I don't know Ethan's exact height, but this looks to be fair, but I could be wrong about that. But that is your All Ego Ethan Page figure comparisons. So getting into the Devil's accessories, we do get the poker chip, we get a couple interchangeable hands, and we do get a pointer finger again. And I think the poker chip, the AEW poker chip, is such a badass accessory. This is very awesome. First time we're seeing this, you have the nice poker chip, and you can, you know, hook this onto anything, and you could have it in a ladder match. So I think that's pretty awesome. You could set up something for your Fed there. Maybe acetone the AEW logo off and do something like that. Have a special show in Vegas or something. But this is a very cool accessory. Very cool that they included this. I like unique stuff like this. He also comes with gloved black interchangeable grabbing hands, and they have a nice sculpt to them. They actually are sculpted gloves. It's not just regular hands painted black, which is nice. And then he comes with one right gloved interchangeable hand that has the pointer fingers, you know, stretched out there to also point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. But he could also tell people to shut the hell up too. He can point at them to tell them to shut the hell up, and he could put his finger up to his mouth and tell them to shut the hell up. So there's that. So getting into the devil, starting off the head sculpt, I feel like the mask is a bit flat. You know, it said it had some shading and some dark shadows on it. I think if you hit it with a dark wash or something, you put some black paint and water, and you know, you mark over it or color over the whole thing and then wipe it away with the paper towel or dab it away. I think you get a lot more dimension out of it, which is something I might try later on. But I like the sculpt of it. I think, you know, the likeness and everything is, is there. I like the black mask going around. You have the horns on there. Definitely a unique look. And we do have this, you know, the sweater vest underneath or the turtleneck. He's got his black vest on right there, which is supposed to simulate a black jacket. But the arms look good. All of this looks good. I hate how the damn exposure is getting crazy on us, so I apologize for that. But you got the pins in the arms. You got the cuffs on the jacket. All black attire here. All black attack. You got the belt in there, and then it's just standard legs. He does have a little shin cut in there, but I'm noticing my feet get loose, which I'll showcase when we do the articulation right now. So for your articulation, he can look down and up very well. Oh, popped his head off right there. You get all your standard AEW articulation. You know, their, their figures do pose around very, very well. They feel good in the hand for the most part. Really good ab crunch right there. But he has a good kick forward. My legs do feel loose and wobbly, but he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has shin cut, even though he has pants, which I appreciate. And then his feet are incredibly loose. I definitely have some loose feet right there, but you might could fix that. You might could switch out the feet for a different look. But in terms of MJF and the devil, we can get in some figure comparisons. So for your MJF figure comparisons, we do have a few different ones here. We have the Unmatched Series 4, a custom Ultimate Warrior Legends Elite Fix-Up MJF in suit. You have the Devil, of course, in the middle. You have the Shop AEW MJF and the original AEW Unrivaled Series 2 MJF, which I still could argue is the best MJF we've ever gotten. And we do have multiple other ones. These are just the notable ones that I wanted to compare here today. And I did want to do a head swap right here just in case you wanted to maybe put a, you know, just a different head sculpt onto this Devil so you could have him unmasked. You can put the Unrivaled Series 2 on here and just kind of look at it. It is a bit, you know, bobbleheady, but... It doesn't look half bad, you know? Like, maybe you could do that. And then, I know the Chase variant is basically this figure, but holding the mask. You might be able to, you know, like, do something where he's holding it, and it kind of looks like he's unmasking or something if you wanted to. Or, I mean, if you want to get real crazy, you could buy another one of these and then Dremel all of this, you know, this head sculpt out of here and just have the mask by itself. You might could do that. But that is your MJF figure comparisons. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW on Rival 15 All Ego Ethan Page and Devil MJF figure review. <laughs> At the end of the day, I do enjoy these 
these figures. I think that this is a very good Ethan Page to start off your Ethan Pages before we get any from Mattel. I think that it is serviceable. I think it's good enough to pick up. Feels solid in hand. While the likeness isn't my favorite, I still think it's good enough. And there's so many cloth goods makers out there, and I know we shouldn't have to rely on that, but there are so many talented cloth goods makers out there that can make you an Ethan Page jacket if you want to. So I don't like the rubber jacket. I don't think the head sculpts are perfect, but at the end of the day, I do like the Ethan Page figure. But then again, I do like Ethan Page and his YouTube channel, and I like him as a wrestler, so there's that. But the Devil MJF figure is a very unique piece as well. I don't think it's for everybody. I don't think you need it in your collection, but it's a it's a fun figure, you know? If you're a fan of Ethan Page, if you like MJF, if you like that Devil gimmick, you want it for fodder, those are the reasons to pick these up. But, you know, if you're not a fan of either one or you don't need these, they're completely skippable, man. I don't think you have to, you know, don't, don't lose your mind over trying to grab these. It is what it is, man. You just make your decision and go based off that. But it is uh, cool to see these figures added to the collection. We low-key get two brand new characters. Ethan Page has not been... This is his first time in the line figure and low-key last time in the line. And then MJF, you know, this is probably going to be the only Devil figure outside of the Chase variant, which I, I know both of these figures have a Chase variant, so not these aren't their last iterations of these, but this is probably the last time we'll see these guys in, the, in their own shots, so in the main line. So we'll see about all those things, man. But if you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% of course when shopping over there I'd greatly appreciate it but I think that is about to wrap up this video man huge shout out to our Patreon members I appreciate all those fellows over there thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel thank you guys so very much for everything but that is pretty much going to wrap the video follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys I will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later